What's up everybody? Welcome to the new vlog. Anyways, today I have a big problem. Well, this problem occurred way before. Basically, I used this stand before that I bought for like $5 in Russia, but because I swam with it, it broke. Basically, I don't know what happened to it. It just kind of, I pulled it out one day and it just did not want to work. So the plan for today, guys, is to wash the car because the car is absolutely filthy, dirty from driving down to Istanbul, from bringing over the packaged foods because like flour kind of went all over the interior and stuff like that. And also, I want to go into an electronic store and see if they have any more of those things like this maybe like a legit gopro one with a button i don't know because this one is just broken and the problem is why i use this and i liked it is because sometimes in some shots you could see my finger like this because the gopro is very small and if you did not know i actually record my videos with a gopro 10 so i do like to have a stick that i could hold and walk around with and I also need some hair gel or something because this is just, oh my God, everything just went away in a split second. Anyways, hopefully we're gonna be able to supplement this. I did try to fix it, but it did work out. So today we're gonna go to an electronic shop and see if they have that mount for the gopro anyways hopefully they do because the videos i can actually position stuff a bit better anyways let's go to the electronic store and then get on with our day and you might be wondering why the title is like this well we're gonna talk about this but somewhere in the middle of the video so keep on tuned boys Anyways, as you could see, my car is absolutely filthy dirty. Look at the amount of... You could see when I was driving on the highway from Istanbul, you could see like the splashes here. The aerodynamics of this vehicle. Somebody drew a McDonald's sign here. And this is when I realized I don't have any washer fluid in the back. Anyways. Let's get today's day going, finally get the car washed and make it look nice and shiny. And maybe one day, actually, I will save up some money to fix up this part of the car. And if you guys didn't know, in the previous apartment that I lived in, some lad just crashed into my car while I was asleep. Which sucks, because I really like my car. Even although it's an old car, it's a car that I earned and bought with my own money. So, you know, there's some comments saying, oh my God, it's a crap car. It's my loved car, best vehicle ever, because it's mine. The cool thing about Turkish gas stations is that you literally come up, drive down here, go to the pump, and you wait for the guy to come up and you give him like money. So we're gonna fill up by 400 liters because I have no washer fluid or fuel and we need to fill up the car so we need to wait for the person to come. Merhaba, can I have benzene 400 lira please? Thank you very much. There you go my friend, thank you very much. And here it is, now we're gonna get filled up, look at this. Damn. Perfect. In Russia you could pay through your navigation system and here you just pay it to the guy. Now, what wonders me the most is, you know, it's a bit weird because usually in gas stations, when you pay, you pay to the cashier because they have like a cash register and all the money is stored there. And in Turkish gas stations, basically the guy who fuels up has all the dosh in his pocket. So we came to a store called Vatan Computer. Let's see what they have. This is like my favorite store in the whole Alanya, I swear. It has like everything. But what interests me the most is the GoPro stuff. So I found a GoPro place. Check this out. There's like a full on media mod type of thing for the 11 GoPro. Anyways, let's see how much this stuff is. So instead of a normal tripod, I'm getting one of those. So it charges 
it's a tripod and you also got a record button this flipping awesome hopefully it's gonna be a good thing guys we're gonna check it out soon can't wait to try this out let's open it up and see what is inside of this thank you very much Evelyn. i got a lot of trash here but oh my god i'm so excited for this look at this pulling it out here we go here we go this is this stuff oh my god the quality of this oh my god it feels so good can't wait to try it out let's put the gopro so i'm going to be holding the camera and i'll be able to turn on the camera with one click like this oh look it turned on oh damn look at this technology here oh here we go now i'm trying this out with holding the mount which finally is not gonna mess up the sound and now my gopro is always gonna be in charge now the next step is one day maybe we'll get a media mod and make this wall look flip and awesome anyways let's go down to another store Evelyn needs to check something out and then we're gonna go to a car wash because we truly need to wash the car and also we're gonna talk about that topic so basically this uh, monopod or tripod whatever you want to call it was actually a gift from Evelina so on my birthday she gifted me a sum of money and I did not know what I wanted or what I needed so I was like I'd rather spend that money on getting myself a tripod to make the videos look better and make it feel nicer filming them as well anyways we're gonna go to the shopping center called the Linium right now and see what's up in there in the electronics store anyways we're going to a place called Technosa right here let's see if they have what Evelina wanted to find anyways <laughs> she wanted to do something with her hair or something damn that's expensive oh my god we better get out of this store quick so we're walking through the stores here and I'm hopefully that there's some hairspray for me because I look like a dog. Let's see what they have in here. Okay, I need hairspray up in here. What the heck is this? Oh, here it is. мороженое. She doesn't want to try anything on camera. Well, whatever. Anyways, time to spray my hair in the parking lot. That's what I need to do. And if you didn't know, guys, there's always a lot of like security in the Turkish shopping malls because they just take pride in their security, which is good. Anyways, I can't wait to spray my hair with all those chemicals. To make me somewhat look like a person flipping out in the middle of a parking lot let me make myself beautiful all the people walking around are gonna think that i'm stupid like all those people right here but anyways let's make ourselves beautiful once again i can't even see what i'm doing i don't know if this looks good this looks crap what am i doing anyways good enough good enough i'll get it fixed in looking through this i look like a flipping new person right now anyways right now we're gonna take our journey over to aria riva part hotel whatever the heck it's called and now we're gonna talk some important things that i want to talk to you about so let's get going Bro, what's up? Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm fine. You, oh, you know, they give me visa. Oh, really? Yes, for March, I'm going. Oh, guys, did you hear this? He's going to Malta on 4th of March. That's why one of the reasons why we went to Istanbul for him to get a visa. That's awesome. So happy, yeah. Oh, you're gonna you see. Come with me? I want to come, but they're not gonna give me a visa. <laughs> <laughs> so you might be wondering, what is the story with the title of this video? Well, basically, right now in Russia, if, for example, I go back, just for an example, fly into the airport, 
I might get stopped by the security and they are gonna search my phone. They're gonna ask me questions of why am I going back home? Why would they wanna know why I'm going back home as a Russian citizen into my own country? That does not make any sense at all. I mean, what do you guys think about this whole situation? Write down in the comment section below because flying back, imagine if you were flying back home to your home country and you get stopped by a security check and they ask you, why are you coming back home? Let us check your phones, let us check your phone settings and let us check your social media networks. Now this is all made in my opinion to check if you agree with the government or not, which is absolutely crazy. Imagine me flying back with all the videos I made God knows what is gonna happen to me. And also, I did an interview on Times Radio. There's gonna be a link in the description somewhere. Here's a little fragment of it. What was life like when the war in Ukraine first started? Well, you know, to be honest with you, when the whole like war started up, after just this video, there's no return back. So let's see where life is gonna take us. Anyways, I had my good cappuccino in Ari Arriva Apart Hotel. <laughs> Vladimir is doing some important work not like me making videos but some legit interesting stuff you could see my coffee right here and for some reason as we could see right here there's no table there was a table like this right here but it disappeared so Yusuf if you're watching this video where is the table bring back the table write down in the comment section below for the people to bring that back the table. We need the table. What is this? Am I supposed to make a campfire here or what? So right now I dropped off Evelina. She's gonna go to the gym. And right now I'm literally driving a hundred meters over to get my car washed because after all of the stuff we brought, my car is like full of flour and stuff like that. Also, it's dirty after the Istanbul trip. So if you have not watched any of those videos, you might as well check them out. Anyways, we are gonna go for a car wash. I've not washed my car there yet, but my friend did. So let's see how good of a job they do there. Uh, hopefully it's not gonna be expensive either, but I need to wash my car. It's very, very dirty. So guys, came over to a place where they clean cars. Right now, I took a bunch of stuff out of my car over there. And this is how it looks before. Look how dirty it is. Hopefully, it's gonna turn into a very clean car. But every single Turkish car wash has a place where you can have a good old cigarette. You could chill out here, drink some tea, wash your boat. God knows what happens over there. But this is how it looks like. Quite nice. I had this pillow in the back of my trunk which I used to escape Russia and uh, my pillow was sitting right here and this cat went on it so I gave this cat a present now it's the cat's pillows now he can chill out on a nice pillow do the good things even for the cats look at this guys the car looks like new look at this brand new Cadillac the only thing I need to get fixed is this part right here which got damaged by some random guy but over the west it looks very good nice wash so it is finally time to get some dinner into us and today we're going to a russian bloggers cafe restaurant type of thing now i always order ramen there which is not really a ramen but it's a good soup with noodles the thing is they're supposed to have a marinated egg inside of it right and for the past two times I was eating there, they were giving me a normal one. So let's see what's gonna happen today. Love Cafe. Well, let's go check it out. So I didn't want to risk out with a marinated egg. But meanwhile, Evelyn is chilling out with this cat right here. Look at him. He somewhat looks like our cat. Look at him. Just chilling. Yeah. 
So having a bit of Tom Yam in a Russian owned restaurant. How cool is that? But the Tom Yam is decent here. Liberina is enjoying it for sure. Anyways guys, that place was like lactose gluten free and all that stuff. So you could say I'm a healthy flippin' eater right now. Anyways, we're walking through the inside streets of Alanya. By the way, this is like owned by the same person right here. It's like a bakery, but they do it with gluten and all the normal stuff to eat like a real man. Anyways, yeah, I'm just joking about that. Don't get offended. It's actually not bad, you know? No gluten, no lactose. Probably lost a few pounds already from eating at that place. Now I need to gain it over here. So I got back and my cat is waiting for the water from the tap. You waiting? Let's put a bit of water for you, boy. Hold on. Look at him. He loves this. He absolutely loves this. Look at him. So as my cat is drinking some water right now, it's time to edit this vlog, which means Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully every single one of you actually enjoyed this vlog. And if you did, please leave a like, subscribe and comment in the comment section below. See you later, guys.